kind of a mess, but it's a beautiful mess right now. And I wanted to share these because they're just too gorgeous. So uh, right now my garden has stopped uh, giving so many roses, but instead it's giving me lots of lilies and gladioli. And I'm not mad about it. Uh, it's also not in the sunflower time yet, just because I put sunflower seeds a bit late in the ground this year. But I'm not mad about it because I have these beauties and I'm just in love with them. Um, so there's like one that's already a bit spent. That's because the last two weeks I haven't been in the garden. But still, they smell wonderful and they are huge. I mean, not only the lilies are huge, but the glads are huge too. Yeah, like this, this is the normal size that I used to have last year. And I can assure you that this one, uh, if you are going to see the video, the blooms were starting like here. And that's how huge it is. And then I had to cut the tip because the place where I keep the flowers is actually... Oi, sorry. So I had to cut the tip because the place where I um, keep the flowers that are in the garden that are poisonous to cats, I keep them in a high place where cats do not reach. So... Lilies the same. I don't want my cats to take a bite of them. I love flowers, but I love my cats more. So, yeah. Anyway, super proud of them. I'm super proud of being able to get flowers that cost me zero euros or zero dollars to plant, take care. Oh, best thing ever. I have a ladybug. Look at this cutie guy. Let's see where it is. So, I don't know if you can actually see it. Now you can. There's a ladybug in my bloom. <laughs> How cute is that? My garden was full of bugs uh, today. It was also full of good and bad bugs. But, I mean, I've got a ladybug. And I actually think I need one because I found some... Uh, I found some bugs some mealy bugs in my plants in my home house plants so i'm gosh i'm just gonna put it right away there anyway super excited about that well actually i do like the close-up because you can actually see the flowers a bit closer so i'm just gonna okay i'm just gonna do this uh this difference so you can actually see the flowers a bit closer um, stems, they're so many and so thick that <laughs> they don't actually fit in the vase. As you can see, this is the biggest vase I have right now. I guess I have to buy a bigger one. And I thought when I bought this one that it was kind of excessive, but I guess it's not. Um, I've got this black beauty here. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think this one was... Damn, I can't remember. Anyway, I have many glads. I'm going to do a zoom here now because I want to show you guys. Now, most blooms last year were, were this size. This size were the biggest. I mean, the flowers, as you can see, were like this size. And that was it. But you can actually compare the size of the blooms this year. To the ones last year and yeah especially the shaka zulu one i was expecting them to be bigger and they turned out not to be that big last year but this year they are huge and so 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 gorgeous um they're just almost a black camera does not do it justice i'm going to cut a bloom out look at this show you it just it's mind-blowing and i'm super excited about them there's also cote d'azur um this one last year there were small blooms and i was not expecting them to be this big just because last year the blooms were not that big and then it's huge i mean it's almost as big as my hand um 
I normally get blooms like this from dahlias and maybe sunflowers. I do not get glads this big, but this year they're just gorgeous. Um, I know it looks like I'm tearing the flowers down, but it's not. Actually, in a couple of days, these should be taken away and I cut the stems a little bit because the flowers get spent if you just keep them. And actually, the more you remove, you give the opportunities to the ones that have not bloomed yet to open up. So, yep, yeah, I'm super excited about that. I'm also very, very excited about the lilies. Last year, I had a few pink ones, the stargazer ones, if I'm not mistaken, and night rider. This year, I already had the night rider one, the, the black one that I had like a couple of weeks ago. But now I'm starting to have these white ones, these huge ones. I'll have to look up the name because I don't remember exactly what they were called. But when they come out, the buds are like this. And the stem is not too long. I mean, I always cut like halfway the stem because I want to uh, have the plants with some leaves on them so they can storage some uh, energy into the corms or the bulbs. And I can have them for next year. But they're just gorgeous. Um, they were a bit staining. You could see I removed the pollen already because it was staining, it was getting everything dirty. But I'm not mad about them at all. They're just gorgeous. And I really, really, really like them. So I'm super excited about that. Anyways, this was this week's um, harvest. Abundant. I, I didn't get only a bouquet for me. But I got one for my mother-in-law and one for my sister-in-law too. And yeah, I'm very happy about this. I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know if it's going to be a painting video or just gardening video. Because school is almost over and I'm stressed out about everything. Anyway, hope you guys have a nice week. Bye.